the first thing an autonomous car must be able to do is replicate the human inputs of accelerating, steering, and braking. Hello. All right, by you. To see how hard that is, Guy's going to build his own driverless vehicle. What are you thinking? In his shed. And he's shipping in some help. Cheers, Doc. See you. Bye, 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 bye. AB Dynamics are a world leader in the field of robotics, based in the Cotswolds. How's it going? Yeah, good. Happy. They sold automation systems to all the big car manufacturers in the world. Jeremy Ash and his team are loaning Guy the basics. There's no AI yet. Before you make a vehicle think for itself, you need to make it move by itself. It's all right having the cleverest computers in the world, but you need the cleverest computers in the world telling robots like these what to do. The first autonomous vehicles are likely to be commercial, used by delivery firms saving on driver costs. Guy may beat them all to it with his very own Robovan. The installation begins by bolting in a pedal robot to the footwell. Yeah, I get excited about things like that. lovely. Then the steering robot is attached. Okay, clip that up on the sun visor. Its position is fine tuned with a laser pointer. You know what's in this. When the dot follows the path of a circle, they know everything is centered on the same steering axis. That looks pretty good. I mean, if you've, got it, to, if you've got it within a couple of mil, I'm happy. A third robot is attached to the gear stick and a GPS system is installed on the roof. How accurate is the GPS system? Running at top accuracy, we can get about one centimetre positional accuracy, and that's anywhere in the world, 100 times a second. It's better than what you get in your phone, that's for sure. <laughs> After just an hour, Robovan is ready for testing. Well, um, it's your job busy, mate. You're busy. Hey, hey, if we're going to make you driverless, um, let's take it to the track. We want it to go like Billy. Of course we do. And so the team relocate to Silverstone with the aim of becoming the first to set a record for the world's fastest driverless van. <laughs> but before the test commences, Robo Van must be taught where each gear is. So stick it into second if you could. Yeah. Set position. Third gear. Fourth, please. Yeah. Fifth, and then stick it into sixth, last of all. Now all you can do yeah. is test it. Activate the robot, move to gear one. Jesus, <laughs> what? You see that? That's faster than a human hand could move it. I'm not seeing that move, it's moving that fast. So, all the robots are set up. Let's try it out, shall we? The GPS route around the track is loaded into the computer that controls the robots. Guy and Jeremy will observe how accurately Robovan can follow the course. I'm nervous. <laughs> Lord, it out. <laughs> Shut stalls. No, it's just going. Did set off with a bit of a lurk, though. Yeah. That yeah, looks good, doesn't it? Got the racing line. Yeah. Slightly wide. No, it's quite happy. It's quite happy. It is strange to watch. Are you watching? <laughs> the van drives faultlessly, although without AI, there's nothing stopping it ploughing through anything that lies in its path. Hang on, hang on, <laughs> he's catching. <laughs> I do like that, you know. It's now a question of how close to the transit's top speed of 99 miles per hour robo van can get by itself. If it was me, I'd just keep typing the numbers in until it ended up on its roof. That's what I would do. On you. Guy mans the speed trap. All right, Jeremy, how's it going? While the rest of the team follow in a chase car. Robo van enters the straight and immediately goes to 100% throttle. 90, sweet. No, not sweet, not sweet, not sweet, not sweet. Oh, no, I shit myself. <laughs> hey, 90.491, though. <laughs>
As far as I know, <laughs> that is the world's fastest driverless van. Yeah, good start. Good start. <laughs> that proves we was on the limit. Right. The robots were dumbly following a set of instructions, braking suddenly rather than smoothly on a surface that was half wet, half dry, unsettled the van and caused a skid. Making a vehicle drive itself, even at speed, is straightforward. But getting it to recognize hazards and drive safely is the subject of a billion dollar arms race. Guy's next stop is Budapest and the tech startup trying to help cars see.